One of the challenges with Firestore is keeping an accurate count on a document because you might have multiple clients competing to update the same value at the same time. Firestore has always had a way to maintain accurate counters in the form of database transactions, but they require a pretty significant amount of code just to do something simple like update a counter. Fortunately, just a couple weeks ago, Firestore released a new tool called Increment. In today's quick video, you'll learn how Increment can help simplify your code and do things like data aggregation entirely from the front end. If you're new here, like and subscribe, and you can grab the full source code from Fireship IO. Imagine you're in a situation where you have a blog post and you want to keep track of the total number of likes on that post. Prior to Increment, the way we would handle this is to create a database transaction where we can read the current value, increment it, and then update the database with the new value. This works perfectly fine, but we can now dramatically simplify the process by just passing an increment value to Firestore, and it will do all the calculation for us atomically on the back end. You can see in the demo here, I have an increment and decrement button, and when I push these buttons, they either increase or decrease the count by one. And what makes this magical is that we don't need to know the actual value of the current count to make this update. Let's take a look at how easy this actually is in the code. The first thing we'll do is make a reference to Firestore, and you want to make sure you're using the latest version of the SDK because this is a new feature. And that will give you access to field value increment, which is a function that expects an argument with the value that you want to increment by. For a lot of simple use cases, you can increase your counter by one, or you can decrease it by passing negative one. From there, we'll just make a reference to a document in the database, and then we can call update or set with the merge true option to update the counter. So when you pass the increment field value to Firestore, it will look at the value that currently exists on that document, then perform the math to update it server side, which means that your clients can never update it with the wrong value. That's how it looks in the code, but you're not limited to just using integer values. For example, you can pass in floating point or decimal values, and Firestore knows how to perform those calculations as well. But one of the places I find it most useful is when it's combined with other document writes in multiple locations, because it makes it possible to perform data aggregation entirely from the front end without using a cloud function. One of the most common requirements is to get a count of the total number of documents in a collection. Now we could just read the collection every time we need the count, but that doesn't scale very well as far as your costs are concerned because you're charged per read, and you'd be sending a ton of unnecessary data over the network. For this demo, I've created a special document called Stats, and its job is to keep the total count of the documents in this collection. So every time we click this button, we're performing two writes. We're updating the count on the Stats document, and then we're creating a new document in this collection. But we only want to update the count if we're 100% sure that that new document has been added to the collection. And we can easily perform an atomic write on multiple documents by setting them up as a Firestore batch. And the code will set up a reference to our Stats document, and then also a reference to a random document ID. From there, we can set up a batch, which gives us a way to perform multiple writes simultaneously that will all either succeed or fail together. When dealing with counts, it's very important that they're performed atomically, because if the new document is not actually created, but we still update the count, then we're going to be left with a count that's not accurate. After you define a batch, you can define multiple updates on it. The first argument is the reference to the document, and the second argument is the data you want to update. When updating the stats document, we'll want to make sure to also pass in the merge true option, which will make it a non-destructive update. If we leave this option out, it will just reset the count every time we run this batch. And lastly, we call batch commit to tell Firestore to run these updates. As you can see, increment is a very simple tool, but one that can help prevent a lot of unnecessary complexity in your code. I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up there. If you want to see more quick videos like this, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.